a very very happy 2024 to all of you if you have been living your life and doing stuff professionally with only money in your head then you are setting up a system that would be a nightmare for a human being to be in because it's based on only just one metric money 2023 is over 2024 is starting this is a great time to ask yourself what's the plan what are you going to be doing in this year that's going to make it different from all the years that have preceded it how are you going to grow as a person this time around this trip around the sun what's going to be different but before we get into that i would request you to subscribe to our channel bnd tv and boop that bell button so that you get all our updates and believe me in this year you're going to have a lot of videos coming your way you don't want to miss even one now are all the things that you do a part of a well thought of strategy i can almost bet that they are not you are very reactionary in life you kind of react to whatever happens to come up in your job or your business um, you have not got any system or you have got very loose systems in place to handle the challenges that your business or job could throw at you that life could throw at you and you might even mostly win but at the end of the day you are tired drained mentally and physically exhausted you have reached that finish line and you have no energy left to enjoy the success you don't even enjoy the journey to the finish line and that needs to change i want to tell you about something that i have embraced over the last few years the concept of holistic success yes of course you need to create your wealth yes of course you need to bring home the money that you require but if that money is coming in at the cost of your health at the cost of your relationships uh, when you are doing stuff to get your wealth and it leaves you no time whatsoever for your hobbies to relax to chill you have no me time then that sort of wealth is really not worth a lot action without strategy is just a loud noise before failure you need a plan a plan in 2024 so that you create holistic success for yourself wealth of course but also having the time and the energy for all the other things that really matter to you in your life most people don't even have any inclination about thinking about their health unless something really goes wrong you know i always like to say ceilings are boring your house is not the sistine chapel if you are flat on your bed it is really really boring to keep looking at that ceiling if you don't make time for your health you will have to make time for ill health you don't have time for relationships for nurturing the people around you the same people who you thought thought really highly about you don't seem to think like that anymore about you and and you keep wondering why you know time is a really really precious asset a moment gone is a moment gone there is no way you can get it back and i think the greatest gift you can give to somebody who you care for is your time you have hardly any time to do some leisure activities you wanting to play the guitar you want to go for a trek no time you are tired you are exhausted you are just getting through the day waiting for the weekend and in the weekend dreading the week this really really can be turned around and one of the secrets for doing that is to create a system a system is simply a set of actions that you pre create in order to face certain challenges for example 
let's take a very simple thing eating food <laughs> you know personally i am guilty of this spending inordinate amount of time thinking about what i should eat what should i have for breakfast what should i have for lunch what should i have for dinner every day you know literally uh, and as parsi's food is very important so by the time we are finishing lunch at the lunch table we are discussing about what we are going to have for dinner so much of time goes into that if you could simply sit and do this little exercise that i did write out all the things that you love to eat just everything put it down and then create a monthly or a bi monthly menu so that you know that if it's a sunday afternoon it's tansak if it's the third monday then the dinner is masoor dal with cutlets when this is sorted when you have created this menu of food that you would like to eat every single day and you've done this exercise it's tedious it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of thought you need to involve the other people who are going to uh, have food with you as well but when this is done just imagine how simple things will become you know exactly what you are going to eat tomorrow so you know what groceries to buy so when you go into the grocery shop you don't do impulse shopping you don't pick up something here and pick up something there simply because it looks good you know all those things sit in your fridge they rot and then finally you throw it away so you save money you save time yeah you know the prep that needs to be done to create the meal so you can schedule your day accordingly so you save time you save money you reduce wastage when you create that menu you balance your health and taste so you are eating much healthier than you ever thought possible it takes time to set up a system like this but once you have invested that time i tell you it is so worth it clothes the clothes you wear even this could be systemized monday i wear this tuesday i wear this wednesday i wear that oh, oh, you could even go the steve jobs way i i wouldn't but you could he only used to wear that dark navy blue t-shirt and a pair of jeans so i am not thinking anymore about what i should wear i am not thinking anymore about what i should eat now create systems like this for as many aspects of your life as you possibly can and suddenly you will find that you have so much more time now there are two three things that you have to remember when you are creating a system the first is if your system involves other people food you know your entire household is going to be involved in that then co create the system with everybody get everybody's buy in if people are involved in creating the system there is more chance more possibility that they will actually cooperate and stay with the system right the second thing is uh, be always alert to tweak it to become even better and most importantly you know you could sit there and think and plan and strategize and create mind maps and possibly spreadsheets and and create that entire amazing fantastic system but if you don't really implement it if you don't bring it into action there's no point uh we started with the strategy uh we started with action without strategy is the noise before failure but strategy without action that's just an illusion ideas are ideas and they'll die as ideas right now one now one really really amazing thing happens when you have put systems in place you don't have to make decisions anymore about mundane day to day things you don't have to make decisions anymore about when you are going to answer your emails when are you going to take your dog for grooming what are you going to eat you don't have to make these decisions anymore and i'll tell you the big deal about that you see every single decision that you take takes energy in your brain one of the secrets of big business is never take decisions towards evening always take decisions only in the morning because your brain is most alert and has the highest energy at that time 
So every single small decision, what socks should I wear, is taking energy. And if that energy is conserved, you can get so much more done. Right? So getting as many decisions as possible taken right from the start is just a fantastic idea and that is where the systems truly shine. Hmm? You have a system, you have already pre-decided, you have already taken decisions for yourself right in the beginning. This saves you, conserves you energy and that compounds and compounds and compounds until really you find yourself with so much time. So many times I have been asked, how do you manage all the things that you do? This is one of my answers. I create systems and I follow them. I have set times of answering email, set times of checking my WhatsApp, set times of creating presentations, set times for writing, set times for recording videos like this. And because I implement those things, I find I have time to do so many other things that I want to do. Decisions take energy. As many decisions that you can possibly create right from the start is going to save you a hell of a lot of energy and that means you can do a hell of a lot more things. Pre-deciding mundane stuff and putting systems in place could be the game changer that you are looking for this year. So we have talked a lot about systems and we have talked a lot about decisions. But do you see that decisions and systems are a function of a clear, calm mind? Before you even begin to create a system, ensure that your mind is relaxed and calm. A muddled, frustrated, tired, angry mind <laughs> is going to create a really obscene system, <laughs> something that you will feel is a burden. So how to create that calmness, that, that gentle quality in your mind that allows you to be focused and relaxed at the same time? Do you see that? It does not happen together. When you are relaxed, your mind is all over the place. It is unwound. It has gone everywhere. You have vague thoughts about all sorts of things. There is no focus. And focus, that requires a bit of stress. Would it not be amazing to be able to be relaxed and focused at the same time? And our Gurudev Shishi Ravi Shankarji, he has created a done for you system for this. It involves breathing and it is called Sudarshan Kriya. After the Sudarshan Kriya, you feel relaxed, calm, energized, focused, happy. It takes just a few minutes. If you have not learned the Sudarshan Kriya yet, before you do anything else, first do that. And if you have already learned the Sudarshan Kriya, then ensure that whatever system that you are creating for your life, for 2024 and beyond, you have integrated the practice of Sudarshan Kriya every single day. Because the benefit of a calm, relaxed, peaceful mind is unimaginable in your life. Your mind finally becomes your friend. You are not reeling in the fear of the future. You are not what ifing, what ifing, what ifing. Neither are you burning with the anger or the guilt of the past. You, in fact, learn from the mistakes that you have made in the past and you can plan effectively for the future and you can act in the present. That is, my friends, that is just an amazing formula to live your life. Learn from the past, plan for the future, act in the present. Most people, <laughs> they are angry or guilty about the past, they are anxious and scared about the future and they are paralyzed in the present. Learning Sudarshan Kriya, learning meditation will free you from this paralysis and give you the greatest asset that you could possibly have, a calm, relaxed, peaceful, happy, focused mind to take those decisions and create those systems that will in turn make you feel so much more productive, creative and actually give you time to do all the things that you have always wanted.